Hey girls, hey, it's Tanya Trombley. I'm a four star plunder design peep. So I wanted to share with you a little bit about events. Why do we do events? What are events? How does that help our business? And why is it so important to do events? So um, my, my girl, Kelly Mussman, she rocks out events all the time. And I have a lot of you girls and leaders who do events in your business. And it's a great, great opportunity to meet new people. I tell my girls all the time, events aren't necessarily to do sales and make sales. Events are more to meet connections, make new connections, meet new people, share your business, share what you're doing. So um, I always tell girls to find events, try to stay local and start local, and then you can go adventure into different towns or even states if you want. But start local, go to your chamber, see what they have, go to women's business clubs, see if they have anything. Um, you know, the, the hotels, sometimes they're doing events there, bridals, you know, get with the bridal company and see if they're doing any events. Um, a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of times the city has like craft shows and chamber events downtown. So start local. And you want to see if the investment is going to be worth what you're having to put out. I don't like to put a lot of money out into events. If it's a three, four day event, it's going to cost you more. And then you can get some girls to help you and work it with you. Um, and then it would be cost effective. But, you know, to put out $1,000 for one day is just not worth it to me if you're doing a big huge trade show like maybe like in a big state where they do it every year and they have a hundred thousand people coming then maybe but um you know if you're starting out think smaller and start smaller so what is an event going to look like well i always suggest bring a table a card table and a, if you have a pop-up tent it's going to save you because you most likely you're going to be outside you can be um in the sun it might be a little warm so a pop-up little tent is going to save your business so just set up your table put out some of your cash and carry jewelry um you know display it where you have like you would for a party or anything else and <clears throat> put a tablecloth or something on it underneath it put some boxes different things so the jewelry can be different levels you can do some display items like a tray or a cake platter or just some fun things to put your jewelry on and just make it attractive to the eye another thing you want to do is a drawing this is going to capture your girl's audience to get their information. The whole reason you're there is you want to get their contact information so you can follow up with them. Remember, follow up is the fortune in our business, okay? So, you want to do a drawing of some type. Now, you can do little cards that they fill out and they put in the drawing basket, or you can do like just a uh, piece of pad paper and they can write their name, email, phone number. Always get their email and phone number. So whatever works best for you. If you want to you know, make it real cutesy or just simple, whatever. But just let me know. Say, hey honey, if you want to drop your information, I'll put you in the drawing and you'll get a chance to win my prize. And your prize can be whatever is cost effective for you. Okay, so, um, and then when you ask them to do that, ask them, say, if you're interested in um, hosting a party in the future and getting free jewelry, or you'd like to hear more about how I make an income for my family, just write that beside your name and I'll be sure to follow up with that. So always, always get their information. I tell my girls to have business cards for sure. Do some flyers. I would create a flyer with some pictures of your, we do, it's called Share What You Wear. And um, it's like a picture of me with my necklace. It's a picture of a girl with her necklaces. And I would do a couple of those on a flyer and then my information. So it kind of gives some pictures of looks of different things that we offer and what we have as the jewelry and what it's about. And then my information, they can take that with them. Because I don't want them all taking a catalog. That's cost effective. That's a lot of money at the end of the day. If I have someone who's truly interested in doing a party in the future, by all means, take a catalog with you. Um, I also do some little flip book albums, like photo albums. You can get them on Shutterfly, Walgreens, whatever. And in those albums, I share our custom pieces because our custom pieces is what makes us stand out as a jewelry company from any other jewelry company. We can do custom photo charms, atlases for our customers or their family, their dog, their children, whatever they want. So I do a little flip album showing picture after picture of all these examples of what we can do custom. 
So it's another tool that they can look at while they're there. If they choose to buy something there off the table, they can give me cash. I really don't like to take check from strangers you just don't know, okay? So I always just tell them cash. If they only want to do credit card, then I tell them, okay, we can go online right now to my site and we can order it. Let me get it ordered. Okay, now enter your information and your credit card shipped, we're done. Or I could say, okay, no problem. Send me PayPal right now, the amount, and then you're paid and you can take it off the table. Um, if they want to use their credit card to order it, then it's gonna go directly to them. They won't take it off the table. So, also ask your event when you sign up. Make sure there's only going to be one of you representing your company there. And also ask them if they have, if they give you the contact list. A lot of times these events, when they're selling tickets to get into their event, they're going to have a contact list. Every vendor there should have a copy of that contact list. And that contact list, those women who came in, they should know that they might be contacted from any vendor there at the show. Okay? So remember, follow-up is a fortune. The whole reason you're doing events is to make new contacts, maybe your next host, a new customer, or even a stylist. So get out there, have fun, do some events, and I can't wait to hear how they go for you. Have a good day.